Hello friends, welcome to new student lecture video from Subras Biology and today we are going to read about a new topic and that is the types of microtome. In the last video we have talked about the microtome. What is that microtome? Microtome is the instrument which is used for section cutting for preparing thin slices of the tissue so that we can examine it under a microscope. So this is called as a microtome. So in this class we are going to read about the types of microtome because there are a variety of microtomes are there. Slays microtome, rotary microtome, rocking microtome. Okay. So next we will also read about the parts of the rotary microtome because rotary microtome is the most commonest used microtome in the histopathology section. So we will discuss about the rotary microtome, parts of the rotary microtome, what are its advantages and also the disadvantages as well as most importantly we will discuss about the knives knives of the rotary microtome in histopathology section but before that if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and comment me in the comment section that which question is difficult for you in this histopathology section microtome it is the instrument used for cutting thin sections of the tissues and microtomy is the process of cutting thin sections of the tissue is the process is called as the microtomy or otherwise called as section cutting okay so the next we will read about the parts of this microtome so as you can see this is the parts of a rotary microtome and you can see here the knife and its holder so where knife is kept to cut the thin sections and the next is the block holder block holder mein hum kya karte hai na? we keep blocks wo jo tissue block humne prepare kiya tha after embedding that tissue block should be kept in that block holder and after that this uh, the base you were saying seeing this is the base of the microtome so these are all the parts of a rotary microtome okay write it down in your notes and remember that so that you can write it in the exam next we will discuss about the advantages of this rotary microtome because we will discuss about the rotary microtome in detail so first of all we should see the advantages of the rotary microtome so it is also it is heavy and stable it is ideal for serial sections in large numbers paraffin embedded tissues are cut by a rotary microtome the knife holder is movable and also the sections are caught flat, useful for routine research papers. But it has one disadvantage that is the it is not suitable for large blocks or hard tissues. So this is all about the rotary microtome, its parts and as well as its advantages as well as its disadvantages. Now we will discuss about the knives because knives are the most important thing in the histopathology section. So we are sharpening the knife we can also use use and throw knives but also we can sharpen the knife which is used in the microtome for the section cutting so in the rotary microtome we use four types of knives so knives are modeled according to the tissue to be sectioned as well as the embedding medium so there are four types of knives are there first one is the biconcave next is the plano concave third is the tool wedge and fourth is the plane wedge so the first knife here is the plano concave plano concave so the one side of the cutting surface is the concave and other is the flat so the name is a plano concave and it is used in slays microtome as well as the rotary microtome so this is used for soft samples like nitrocellulose embedding medium and it is extremely sharp as well as delicate so this is called as a plano concave knife in the histopathology section so the next knife is the biconcave bi means two concave means two sides of the knife is concave in nature so this is a classical knife so this is used for rocking as well as the slays microtome and this is used for only wax embedding medium so this is called as the biconcave bi means two concave means concave sides so two sides of the knife is concave in nature next is the plane wedge you can see the spelling of this wedge is W E D G E. So the meaning of that, so the both sides of this knife are plain, right? It is used in all type of microtome to cut all type of materials. It may be hard, soft. So this is called as the standard file. So this is the plain wedge, right? The standard file. So the next or the last is the tool edge, E D G E, tool edge type of knife, where it is also plain on both of the sides but steep cutting edge right so this is the tool wedge it is used for hard object hard object or the hard tissues it is used for hard tissues or the on decalcified tissues just like we know that tissues which are in the histopathology section 
कुछ होते हैं बोनी टिशूज कुछ होते हैं फैटी टिशूज कुछ होते हैं सॉफ्ट टिशूज सो द हार्ट टिशूज वी यूज दिस टू एज नाइफ फॉर द हार्ट टिशूज सो दैट इट कैन बी इजीली कट इन टू थीन स्लाइसेस ऑफ द टिशू एंड आफ्टर दैट वी कैन इजीली एग्जामिन दिस अंडर ए माइक्रोस्कोप सो दिस इज द टू लेज सो दिस दीज आर ऑल फोर टाइप्स ऑफ नाइफ्स एट द एंड द हिस्ट्रो पैथोलॉजी सेक्शन नाउ वील सी दैट the knives how we can sharpen the knife because use and throw knives are also available in the market but if we we'll, if we want to sharp the knife so what should we do so for sharpening we use two processes and these two processes are most important for the examination point of view first one is the honing second is the stropping this honing honing removes all the irregularities in the knife whereas this stropping the purpose of stropping is to sharpen or to polish the edge of the knife so this is the difference between the honing as well as the stropping so stropping is the process in which we polish or sharpen the knife edge theek okay? hai so now starts with the types of microtome question which can be asked in the examination that write the types of microtome or parts of the rotary microtome or write the types of the microtome knife or the write the types of rotary microtome knife and also the what is honing as well as what is the stropping process and except that if you have any doubt you can comment me in the comment section or else you, i have my instagram id in the description box you can comment me there so let's see in the next topic and the next topic will be on the staining because after microtomy we go for staining methods